Bill Moose, nearly three and a half years on the job now leading Nebraska athletics. Earlier this week, I went one on one with Moose to discuss the Huskers recent transfers, expectations for Scott Frost's fourth season and the possibility of fans at the May 1st spring game. When it comes to the spring game, since there's not an opposing team coming into Memorial Stadium, do you think that significantly helps your chances as far as getting fans in Memorial Stadium? That's my stance, and you said it uh, very well. It's not like uh, the week after our spring game that we're going to Michigan State to play. We will be testing. We're careful. We had the least number of positive tests uh, this whole last fall. Our fans are dying to get in Memorial Stadium. I will stand firm that depending on what the local health authorities say, we should have some degree of a percentage of our venue available for our great fans. Since December 2019, Nebraska football has reportedly had 25 scholarship players leave the program, 17 of those on the offensive side of the ball. Do you think that's just an individual situation where every guy is different, or do you think there's possibly that's somewhat of a referendum on the on the somewhat inconsistencies of the offense the last few years? Well, the the world of transfers is the new world. Um, I checked earlier in the week; there were 1,800 football players in in the transfer portal. We've had some go in, and we've taken some out. I'm not a huge fan of that, but it's the world we live in. If we're going to survive, and we're going to move our program forward, we have to realize that we're going to have to go to that portal to get to get good players, and we're going to lose some good players to it, just like. Uh, other schools in the Big Ten and across the country. We had other players, and yes, uh, primarily offensive players. Uh, some weren't playing. And in, again, in today's world, if you're not playing, you look at your options. We'll have a strong roster next year, and we'll have the people here who want to be here and want to help us grow as a program. And heading into to Coach Frost's fourth year, what do you think are realistic expectations for the program in 2021? Well, uh, I've always said that uh, good, solid programs produce winning teams. So we got to continue to build the program. The scoreboard uh, should start to show that. We've seen glimmers of that. Our last game of 2020, I thought was our best game at Rutgers. Winning two of our last three in a uh, pandemic year. We need to feel good about that and carry it forward to 2021. Many Nebraska fans would agree Scott Frost returned to a rebuilding job at NU. However, some claim his lack of a bowl game and a 12 and 20 record with the Huskers isn't being judged as critically as his predecessor, Mike Riley, who in his three seasons finished with a 500 overall record with two bowl games. Is he held to a different standard because of his history at Nebraska? I think he gets a little longer runway because he's one of ours. But at the end of the day, we've got to meet the criteria that was laid out when he was hired. And in many regards, we're doing that. We saw the defense last year start starting to look like black shirts again. We have three freshmen start on the offensive line against Rutgers. And really, I've always said a sign of a really solid offense is when your entire offensive line are red shirt juniors and seniors. When these these freshmen have a year or two more under their belts, we're going to be back to seeing the pipeline, uh, those kind of players again. And I hope our fans are as excited as I am uh, for that day, and it's coming soon. Moose says NU season opener in Ireland, about a 50-50 chance to still happen at this point. He is hopeful some fans will be allowed at NU baseball and softball games this spring.